Hello. Hi, I'm President Lin. I'm Xu Pei Yu. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me about this lab and uh, about yourself. Okay, no problem. This lab is a biophotonics and bioimaging lab. And uh, my name is Xu Pei Yu. I'm the fourth year PhD student in the Department of the Chemistry and uh, uh, Environmental Science. And let me introduce some lab equipment and uh, some experiments. And also the high school researcher who work in this summer. That's great. Okay. Let's go. This way. Hey, President Lim, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I've been great. This whole summer has just been an amazing experience. Do you like it here doing summer research? Yeah, I love the facilities. I've just been able to do so much hands-on work, and it's all thanks to AEOP and NGIT for sponsoring this opportunity for so me. What is AEOP? So it's an Army Educational Outreach Program, and it will sponsor students in um, underserved demographics in That's STEM. Really good. It's genuinely been one of the best things I've ever done. I get to have some of the college experience here at NGIT and use facilities and do real work right. and see what it's actually like. And it's just, it's been great. We've done so many things. And one of those things was um, chromatography, where we um, separate a compound by a polarity and we uh, purify it. And actually, I think there's one running right now. So would you like to go check that out? Sure, please, please show me. Yeah, no problem. Hello, President Lim. I'm OJ Shweta, but you can call me OJ. OJ, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So well, here are some safety glasses yes. for safety first. Safety is very yes. important at NJIT. <laughs> So if you can look, head over here, can I can show explain. Show me what you have here. Yes. So liquid chromatography is a procedure that we use to separate our mixture and purify our compound that we synthesize. So when we create our compound, we use a column, as you can see here, to load up first our silica gel as our first layer. Okay. On top of that, we add our dissolved um, compound. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, we add a little sand to settle all the layers and make okay. sure everything's in place. So three layers. Three, three layers. layers. Those okay, are the three good. main solid layers. And after that, we add um, um, solvent usually made up of hexane, ethyl acetate, mm -hmm. and other organic solvents. Right. And so when we start running our column and we let the solvents run through the silica gel, because right. of the differences in polarity, mm -hmm. they'll separate and run through the silica gel. Oh, and that's, that's what that's we good. Yeah. Right. And that's what we collect right here in our yeah. test tube so yeah. that we can uh, sample them and see which was the exact product okay. we were trying to synthesize okay. so that it, uh, our pure product can then be used to characterize the structure as well as other photophysical properties of our compound. Right. What's the beaker on the side doing? Right. So I wanted to demonstrate one of the uh, products that we had collected because a lot of the products we work on in this lab have luminescence. Oh. And so if you can see here, yes, you can, can see, see the, the fluorescence yes. that's Flu coming off. Well, thank you for showing me this uh, experiment. Yes, yeah, so now that you've seen how we purify our compound, Shupei can show you how we look at it at the microscope in our other side of the lab. Great. Yes. Thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. Well, this is an impressive lab. Thank you. What do you have here? Actually, here is a confocal microscope. Compared with a normal or traditional uh, fluorescence microscope, our confocal microscope have many advantages, like it can have ability to control the deep of the scan area, and also it have ability to eliminate or reduction of the background information. That's very important. So most of the uh, other kind of microscope doesn't cannot do the uh, three-dimensional scan. Okay. Yes. So what's the advantage of that? If you can show it to me. Okay, sure, no problem. This is a compound we did uh, in this summer project. Actually, you can see that we use the two different dyes than our cell. One is the dye is commercial dye. We use it to mark the nuclear. The yellow part is our compound. It uh, actually is marked the mitochondria. You can see that because it can scan the different layer. If we combine, combine this layer, it will have, we will have the 3D structures. We use our product then into the mitochondria. And because the mitochondria is a powerhouse of the uh, cell, and uh, uh, there are so many diseases related to mitochondria, like cancer, like Alzheimer disease. Uh, if, we, if we use light to irradiate this compound, 
the anti-cancer drug can release directly into the mitochondria and it can kill the cancer cell. That means we have some measure to kill the cancer. I see, okay, well this is good. I, I can't wait to see this in uh, production where it will be used to save life you know, for our uh, patient with cancer. This is incredible. Thank you so much for showing me. You're welcome, it's my honor. Yeah, thank you.